Hey everybody, welcome to Medling World. Today we're at Waki, I think it's called Wakiwa Springs, just north of Orlando. Come on in, check it out. So guys, as I said, we are at the Wakiwa Springs, as I, I think that's how you announce it. And yes, I did start the vlog down there on that nice bridge, which overlooks the springs. And on the other side, is where the river is so the springs go and they start the river there but i just kind of wanted to show you i came back up to the car and i just kind of wanted to show you up here is where you would park so parking is limited i guess it's actually a thursday and it's just a little after 10 and it's already pretty full here so uh i figured the reason i came back up anyways i'll show you is I do suggest bringing chairs here. It's not, you know, this is a natural spring. It is a state park, but it is not, I would say it's not like a beach. So there's not any sand. There is some grass, like a grassy hill, which I'll show you here in a minute. And around where the spring is, it's concrete and mud. So uh, with a little bit of grass, but it's kind of muddy around today. It must have rained, you know, it's Florida, it's summer, it rains a lot. So, I do suggest bringing chairs if you want to sit down. Or, I mean, if, if you don't mind, you can sit down, but you might get a little bit muddy and wet. So, let me head over here, and I'll kind of show you what it looks like from up top. As I was kind of show you, this is that walkway I was just on filming. So, this kind of walks down from the parking lot, which is nice if you are in a wheelchair or if you have a, a wagon. It does uh, have accessibility. Also, some restrooms right up there. And this is kind of a view of the springs from up top. So you can see here, it's kind of just like a grassy hill. And then when you get down the bottom, which I'll show you in a minute, it's, that's where it's kind of a lot of cement and mud. But we're down there because we wanted to get real close. And I can't wait to try these springs anyway. I can't wait to jump in because the water's cold. Um, for Florida anyway, I think it's like 72 degrees. So that's probably is about as warm as the ocean gets up north where I'm from in New England. Uh, <laughs> at the peak, right? Uh, it's probably 72, a little bit warmer maybe up there at, towards the end of summer. But let's just have a look. Now, I don't know how far that accessibility goes because here I'm seeing steps. But I think if you kept going around that way, there are some more ways to get down. But for now... We'll do a little exploring. Just kind of want to show you because I think this is what's cool about vlogging. Especially on Meddling World, guys. Before we get any further, please take a moment. Subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. We do a lot of Disney. We do cruises. We do the ocean. We do restaurants. We do all kinds of travel things. But what we do love to do is bring you on the adventure. Have fun and give you tons of information. So now you can really see how the hill is there. And there are people. I mean, you could shove an umbrella in, into the ground it looks like but you can kind of see how it's just kind of muddy right so some people with chairs some without we're choosing the chair route and i'm going to show you when i get down here kind of what it looks like a little bit closer to the water as you can see how it goes around this is all like cement here but you can see this is all the mud i was kind of talking about so um there are a few benches around that you can like you can see over here on the side it's kind of a bench that wraps around a little bit so there are some benches but take a look at the springs i'm gonna bring the gopro right into water with me this is where it's coming out you can kind of see it bubbling so this is kind of the original area of that natural spring that's coming out and they built this all up to make it almost like a natural swimming pool right it is beautiful i mean i'll tell you that water is crystal clear um and there's a lot of people here i mean like i said it's just after 10 in the morning and you can see it's already packed with people so i do like these steps they have which kind of goes in there are a couple different areas there you can see with the steps and it looks like a little shallower spot here where you can go into and then it gets kind of deep as you go wow I can't wait to get in that water because I really want to feel some colder water. It reminds me of being back home 
in New England. I kind of want to show you our little setup here because this is what I was talking about with the ground. It's there is some. It, it's it's mud, is what it is. I mean, it's it's mud. So I don't think you would want to just sit on that. So I did go up and grab our chairs. Or bring a blank, uh, bring a uh, big blanket or something like that. Yeah, something that you don't mind if it get dirty. Because you can definitely sit on the ground if you want. It's just for us, we feel more comfortable sitting on the chairs here. And we had them with us. If we didn't, we would have made do. And they do have this nice little ledge that's going around. So you can kind of sit on this, put your feet in the uh, water. But guys, I know you, you, you want me to jump in. You want me to go. Let's go see, Matt. Tell us. How cold is this water here in the middle of Central Florida? Today is going to be a heat index of over 100 degrees. I bet it's going to feel so good. Let's go find out right now. We are heading in. It is definitely cold. Oh, yeah. But it feels good. What do you think, Jake? So this is kind of like a shallow area, guys. And then once you get up over here... It's it's cold, but oh, that's wicked slippery. Just a little. If you come, this is wicked slippery. So you got to be very careful. But there's different ways in, so you can go right in that way. There's some another entry right across. Let's uh, let's try to. Yeah, that's wicked slippery. So what I'm gonna do? I don't want to fall. I'm gonna get out and go around and go down that step, those steps right there, and then go in. So the water is pretty deep. It's right up to my neck, yeah, guys. And it is cold, man. It's definitely cold, Whew. but it feels good. I mean, just not what we're used to up here. Oh. Jake is like so spoiled, but he's like, come on, Jake, you can do it. So I'm kind of on my tiptoes right now. So just to let you know, I'm about 5'7", so definitely at least five feet right here. Um, but now that I'm actually getting out a little deeper, it's a little less so this would be over jake's head so he's gonna have to swim and maybe grab onto the side let's go up to the side here just to see how deep it is along that rail Ooh, yeah i'm gonna go under i promise i know somebody just said it matt you going under no it's pretty deep but now you can get a good idea right so now that i'm in it's not too bad i'm gonna go down towards where roberta is and then we're gonna go under the water and i'll bring the camera under with me i'm getting ready to go under the water but that's where i started the vlog so you see the bridge there on the other side of that bridge is the river so this is kind of where the river begins where the spring starts and it goes all the way it goes for a while too i looked on like google's map it goes on for a while so there's a lot you can see there because guess what they rent kayaks and canoes here as well so you can rent those and go exploring the river and up that way i'm sure as you get away from this colder water you're going to find alligators and snakes and all kinds of cool nature this water here people are probably wondering this is the first time i've ever been in fresh water to swim here in florida i've been here for over three years um because of alligators right this year what well, fortunate enough this water is it's cold so i would assume with and with all the people and stuff this i didn't sense that there would be alligators in here but hey it is nature it's possible so keep that in mind check check your surroundings all right let's go under and i'll bring the camera so you can see how clear this water is uh, okay might be a little water in the speaker for a second I want to try to get over where that spring comes out and check that out too. Yeah, Jake just jumped in. Jake, how is it, Jake? Quite cold. <laughs> and the young kids are supposed to be the ones that can handle the cold water. Guys, it, it's cold, but look, there are enough people in here. I'm fine now that I've been in. But this is, oh, I want to go over here because this is where the spring comes up. When I jumped in, I got like a shock of energy. Yeah. Jake jumped right in, but I will tell you that uh, he got a shock of energy, right? So he went right in, and didn't when, wait. When you super when you get out, it feels warm. Yeah, because the nice thing is in Florida, when you get out of the water, it's so hot outside, you're not cold. Like sometimes up north, right? You get out and you need a towel. Not down here. All right, guys, let's go see if we can find where this spring comes up. Wow, that, 
look really deep, so that's where the water is all coming up, guys. Really neat. Got Roberta in. I can't believe it, guys. Roberta, <laughs> give us give us your. Uh, go ahead. Tell us what you think. It's pretty. <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> It's not that cold. <laughs> it, is. it is cold. Don't get me wrong. It's cold, but it's not freezing cold. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. It is cold. Well, guys, don't forget, Roberta's from Rio de Janeiro. But you used to go on a walk. She used to go to the beach in Connecticut, and Rhode Island, Massachusetts, all those nice beaches. Yeah. But this is part, Roberta. Compare this to the ocean up there, like temperature-wise. If people from New England are watching. Uh, this is that cold. Yeah. Like the ocean up there, right? Yeah. At, at, this is about as warm as the ocean gets up there. Yeah. So cold for you. For, uh, for me, not too bad. Like, she I have to be... I have to be... I have to be... I have to be, like, outside and... Get it up in the sun for a long time before it goes into the water. Ah, oh, I feel so good on a hot day, guys. So there's Roberta's interpretation of the water. Here's the spring. This is where we started our vlog. And I do want to show you the other side, but... Oh, man, isn't it awesome? Over here on the other side, guys, this is where the river starts. So you can see some people canoeing and some kayaks over there that you can rent. Beautiful, man. So over here is more natural. So once you get on this side, now you'll start to see some of that wildlife because I'm sure that water is going to warm up as you get going away from that spring. And guys, of course, we brought lunch with us. And yes, the famous pub subs for lunch. One thing I do want to show you guys, you see the stairs across? I would suggest if you're a strong swimmer to use those stairs because first of all they're very slippery and right when you come down those stairs it was very deep. So the ones we've been using are off to our right side over there. But time for some pub subs for lunch and then I think a little exploring around. And let's see what else is here at the Wakiwa. Springs. You guys are doing a, a little exploring just to kind of let you know the, the springs right down there. That's where we're hanging out. So canoe rentals at concession store only. And it looks like the store's over there. And it looks like they have a little it says Springside Grill. Let's go check this out real quick. This is some of the rates for everything. So the canoe is 35 and the kayak 35 double kayak. So, oh, okay, so those are for the first two hours, and then any additional hours, $5. So, that's not too bad. And they do have paddle boards and bicycles as well. Pretty neat. And then, of course, you are, as I was saying earlier while we're down here, you may see alligators. Be careful. And just to kind of show you over here a little bit, Roberta and Jake inside. went in. They said it's very busy inside. But they have snacks. They have... Uh... Uh, grill stuff, they have uh, floats, so they have like water shoes and things to put your phone. So, so you can fun. sit out here and you can enjoy, like I see, they had they do like cheeseburgers, french fries, all kinds of different stuff. So, you can chill out here. And, guys, I'm walking this way actually was because I wanted to show you so far, this has all been a ramp. So, if you're using a chair or if you have a wagon accessibility, you can use this whole ramp. Uh, right here and no alcohol beyond this point so it looks like you can drink alcohol up in this area but down here we're just following the ramp all the way down because part of what we like to do in meddling world is really look at accessibility areas uh, it's helpful for people that are using the wheelchairs and the electric vehicles uh, and also if you have a stroller right if you have a wagon it's also convenient and this is nice too this is like this area here is been updated let's put it that way <laughs> the flooring here is much better than uh it was but with with saying that definitely can get all the way down to the spring uh on this ramp another thing i wanted to show you guys they actually do have a chair here you can utilize this chair reserved for visitors requiring assistance so just to show you where we're at and again all ramped all the way to this point and the springs are right there that's the bridge i was on earlier 
And now I find where you would come and get your canoes and your kayaks and all the things you rent. You can see them all lined up here. And over in here, there are plenty of canoes. As you can see here, all the different kayaks and canoes. And again, lots of warnings about the alligators, as I was saying earlier too, because when you live here, you know, but if you're visiting, sometimes you don't think about it because where you're from, plenty of all the, they have the life preservers, all the different boats. So sometimes we are originally like when you live in Connecticut or up north, pretty much most of the United States, you can go in fresh water and not worry about alligators, right? Yeah. Not here in Florida. So that's what's cool about the springs. Yeah. The water is very cold in there. No guarantees though, Roberta. I just jumped back in again for a second, guys. Thank you so much for watching Meddling World. Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Wakia Springs. We had a nice, refreshing few hours here relaxing. Please take a moment, subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!